Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a Twitter thread. So sometimes you uh, have something on your mind that you want to tweet out that goes beyond the character limit on Twitter. And you can create a thread and it basically attaches these tweets, these longer thoughts or tweets that you have, and you've seen threads before. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that now. So we're on the desktop version of Twitter now, and then I will pop up my mobile device and show you how it looks and how to create a thread on your mobile device as well. So here we are in Twitter and we have the normal thing. Make sure you're logged into your Twitter account. And I've just gone over to randomtextgenerator.com and I have selected a whole bunch of text and I've copied that text just like I would if I was creating a very long tweet. Now, if you've ever gone over the character limit here on Twitter, you can see uh, that basically everything beyond that little line there, or this little letter, E, uh, is over the limit. So everything from this point here, as highlighted in red, lets you know you are over the Twitter limit, and also lets you know that you are actually 581 characters beyond the limit that Twitter allows uh, currently. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can tweet everything out and get our full thought on Twitter, but we want to do it in a way that's nice and neatly packed up in a Twitter thread. So you can see something here that is the addition symbol should pop up now. If you see the addition symbol here, you know you are on the right track. So what you want to do is you want to go to the, uh, the, the word here that's going to be cut off and you want to select everything from that word on down. So create everything there. And then you can just right click and cut. So you're good to go. You're no longer over the, the limit there. And this will be number one in your thread on Twitter. And then if we go and click the addition symbol, go to add, we can add another tweet to this thread by going and right clicking or command and control V to paste the text. Now we see it goes down to here. So now what we want to do is go to the other word right here that's getting cut off, select from that word on where you see it highlighted, go ahead and right click or command and control X and cut that information out there and then hit the addition symbol. And you kind of get the point, right? You just keep hitting the addition symbol, you keep pasting it there, you keep cutting until you basically have everything that you want and you have all of the information, all of the text here into that thread. Once you're good to go, basically, you go here and you click the blue button that says Tweet All. This will allow you to tweet everything in this thread starting from the top to the bottom, and it will be listed from top to bottom so when folks view it and they, they basically they expand the thread out, you will see that it will go from the top down. So that's how you create a thread on Twitter. And then if we go over to my mobile device, I have an iPhone. It really doesn't matter what you have. And as you can see here, I've just pasted some... Uh, incoherent text from the random text generator here and it lets you know uh, that everything highlighted in red will no longer be able to be seen because it goes over the limit just like I said but if we go up here and we select the text and we go here it's gonna be a little more difficult on a mobile device and you just select that and you cut that there you should be good to go you just tap on that addition symbol add another tweet paste it in just like you would and you just do the same thing. You just select wherever it's being cut off. So we'll go here and we will select that all the way down and we will cut that out. Go to add here, add another tweet. And then once you're good to go, you paste that in. And then you can see at the very top there, it says tweet all. So that's how you create and make a Twitter thread very simply on both desktop and mobile. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this helped you out. And I will see you guys in the next one.